Mr. Gates, why didn't you go forward right now? And, and are you backing off your plans to push him out of the speakership? No one's in town yet. It's Monday on a flying day at noon. I think we'll have more folks later this afternoon. Congressman you plan to do it today? McCarthy, Speaker McCarthy said he will survive this. Should he be that confident? Well, he's probably right. As I said on uh, CNN and on ABC this past weekend, you know, Kevin McCarthy's true coalition partner on all things of substance has been the Democrats this Congress. He worked with Democrats on the debt limit bill, and only Democrats are really campaigning on that bill. Republicans aren't campaigning on the debt limit bill. That was a Democrat bill passed with mostly Democrat votes. Then we get to the appropriations process, and Speaker McCarthy purposefully delayed us. He tried to back us up against shutdown politics. He tried to not pass single subject spending bills. And at the end of the day, he had to utilize Democrats to pass a continuing resolution. So if Kevin McCarthy works for Democrats and utilizes Democrats in order to keep power, that would be consistent with everything we've seen from him. And Congress, what if you, you, lose, if you lose, lose, personal for you. Uh, for some people, policy failures are uh, recast as personal because their own failures are personally embarrassing to them. This isn't personal. I can cite to you the specific elements of House rules that have been violated. Kevin McCarthy agreed to a rule that we would have 72 hours to read legislation. He blew past that. Kevin McCarthy agreed to a rule that we would uh, not put anything over $100 million on the suspension agenda so that it couldn't be amended. He blew past that. Kevin McCarthy agreed to the Hastert rule, which is that you would never use a major the Democrats to roll a majority of the majority. On the last Ukraine supplemental, 101 Republicans voted for it, 117 Republicans voted against it. So do, this doesn't, does this sound personal to you? I'm pointing to specific things that Kevin agreed to that he hasn't complied with. He's just trying to subjugate his real and significant breaches of our agreement as some sort of personal dispute. But that's just more about him than it says about what we're trying to do to change Washington. Mr. Gates, if you lose this vote, Mr. Gates, if you lose this vote. How many people do you believe share your sentiment among House Republicans or in the House overall? I think tens of millions of Americans share my sentiment. And if you go look at you know, Newt Gingrich and Mark Levin trying to attack me online, it is an avalanche of criticism from their own supporters and their own followers and listeners where those folks are standing with me, not some of these folks who are with McCarthy. Now, Can you get more than five or six Republicans to sign on to this? Well, uh, we'll see. And we'll see where the votes lie. That's a great thing about Mr. having Mr. If you lose this vote, if you lose this vote, will you continue to do this? And are you worried about throwing this institution into chaos, paralyzing an institution that your party runs? Well, you know what I think paralyzes us? Continuing to govern by continuing resolution and omnibus. You know what I think throws this institution into chaos? Marching us? toward the dollar not being the global reserve currency anymore. You talk, you talk about chaos as if it's me forcing a few votes and filing a few motions. Real chaos is when the American people have to go through the austerity that is coming if we continue to have $2 trillion annual deficits. You don't know chaos until you've seen where this Congress and this uniparty is bringing us. Chaos is not forced. Who would you want to see a speaker yeah, look, instead? We have a lot of talented people in our conference. There's probably 100 Republicans in Congress that I would vote for for a speaker, and maybe 100 Republicans throughout the country that I would vote for. Remember, the speaker doesn't have to be... Like who's uh, the hold on, hold on. Excuse me, I'm, I'm, finishing, you, I'm finishing answering your question, but Sorry. if you interrupt it, then the other people can't use my answer. Then they just get you asking questions, and they don't want to put you on because you're not an anchor for, or a reporter for their network. So the answer to your question question is that we have a lot of folks in Congress who I think would be very capable to serve as speaker. Uh, we need to rebuild trust. And so I think we need someone who can connect the most conservative features of our conference uh, to the most moderate features of our conference. And I understand that. I'm not running for speaker. Uh, uh, I, I understand that it might not be someone who agrees with me on every position, but it is awkward to talk about names until we understand how Mr. Scalise comes out of his treatment for blood cancer. I am not the type of person that just says you blow by somebody because they're they're getting a medical treatment. Just Mr. Gaines, you, you didn't obviously move this resolution today. Here. Some are saying, well, you're going to maybe string this along for a few days. Tell us parliamentarily what your vote is. Are you going to drop this at 2 o'clock? Are you going to wait for the answer to your question? Wednesday, Thursday, explain the timing. Yeah, I'm going to be doing it this week. Just, just, just President Trump, Trump talked to you about this. On Manu's question, if this does fail, will you bring this up again? Yeah. How often? Like every day? I mean, what's your, I mean this, this would, you know, do you think that you could win this vote eventually? And are you going to keep doing it until you think that you have the vote? Well, like I've said, it took Speaker McCarthy 15 votes to become the Speaker. 
So until I get to 14 or 15, I don't think I'm being any more dilatory than he was. Some of your colleagues say that they want to change the motion to vacate rule after you bring it forward, saying that one person shouldn't be allowed to do this. Obviously, that was an agreement that you came to uh, in January. Um, what do you say to those colleagues who want to change the motion to vacate? These are GOP colleagues. And certainly within the prerogative of my colleagues to offer any change to the rules that they would like, that would be subject to a vote on the House floor. And there's a procedure and a process to do that. The rules aren't written in, uh, in stone. And so uh, we'll see how that goes. Have, have you spoken to Mr. President Trump about this? I have. And what, what was his advice to you? Uh, I think I'm going to keep that between the two of us. Have you talked to Speaker McCarthy? Why are you waiting? Oh, oh, oh. Why are you waiting? Oh, oh, oh. Later this week. Oh, oh, oh.